The story so far. Burn Stone Guard for Star Wars Chapter 3. Hello everybody and a welcome to the Octopath Traveler for Nintendo Switch. It's Mr. Soap999. And we're here in Stone Guard. Last time, Cyrus used his power of deduction to get to the bottom of a series of kidnappings in Quarry Crest, who was revealed to be Gideon. He was harvesting the villager's blood for his dark research. Though the history of dark arts intrigued him, he doesn't like evil. He doesn't like knowledge being used for evil. So he came here to Stone Guard because that's where the book was made. Hopefully he'll find mm -hmm. the answers he's seeking. Yes, here at last. Although to be honest, <clears throat> kinda looks like a Minecraft place. A sprawling city if I ever saw one. Talk about searching for a needle in a haystack. Yes, indeed. First, I should review where we stand. Hmm. Like as not, the translated copy from the far reaches of hell was produced by a bookmaker in this mm. town. But where to begin on my research? Logically speaking, it would make the most sense to begin at the source. Which means, head straight for... The Bindery, of course. Where else? Yeah, yeah, we're still being. Yeah, there's a mysterious masked person or hooded figure who is trailing us. Well. And yeah, odds are we're probably gonna have to fight that person at some point because there they are. Okay, scrutinize time. Can I get inside, please. Thank you. Uh, I oh. Let me just take these here real quick, thank you very much. Alright, on to scrutinize. Let's see now. The maker, Dominic, was a translator. East, and his home is lies east of the town. Intriguing. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is time we go and visit Dominic. So, let's get right there then, shall we? So, how are you guys all doing today? I hope you're all doing good, and here's his home. Excuse me. Beg pardon, is this the residence of? My apologies. I do not know who you are, but I am not in the mood for company. I'm just gonna go my own voice. Your time. If you could just spare a moment, kind sir, there is something I'd like to ask. Be gone you. With you. I said I wish to see no one. Leave me here at once. <sighs> he seems like a stubborn one. I have to find another way. Pray forgive the intrusion. A good day to you, sir. It might behove me to find a bit more about our friend. What do you have for me to purchase off of you? Oh, discount haggling. Nice, 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 nice. Thank you very much. Now, back to business. That Dominic went and shut himself off from the world after his only daughter succumbed to it. illness 15 years ago. That's rough, buddy. And I assume that this guy here also has something about Dominic as well. Scrutinize. I'll leave the uh, purchasing um, off camera, I suppose. He had, he had a translation commission he thought would earn him a fortune. Still rules the day he said yes to it. So he regrets translating the far reaches of hell. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh well, let's uh, see what the uh, last one down here has to say. We should be able, this should be the last one before Cyrus has his um, Phoenix Wright moment. Yes. We should be able to uh, find out what we're looking for right after this purchase. Yes, there we are. Now. What else do you know? Sold some medicine to Dominic 15 years ago. Was in a spot of a bother, as I recall, financially speaking, so he was given a discount. Very well. And that should do it, I dare say. Dominic will be more talkative this time. Alright. 
Excuse me. Beg pardon, Master Dominic. I am Cyrus, the scholar who called upon you earlier. Oh. You again. I told you, I do not want to see you. His daughter. And you were tasked with translating the far reaches of hell. But of course! Yes, if my reason is correct, this is undoubtedly why Dominic has cut off all contact with the world. Yeah, um, I do not mean to open up old wounds, friend. But I have heard that you lost your dear daughter to illness some 15 years ago. Thusly. Since then, you have secluded yourself and cut off all contact with the world. In order to procure the elixirs that might save your daughter, you need a coin, quick, and in large quantities. And so you accepted an unusual task. Yes. To wit, producing a translation of From the Far Regions of Hell. <sighs> Who told you this? I have Not the bad. book in my possession. Clearly you are a scholar of great knowledge and wisdom. You took care to omit the most horrific passages, doubtly because you recognize the danger they pose. As an academic, I will not stand idly by as knowledge is used for the purpose of evil. And so I ask you, who commissioned this translation from you? And he opens up the door. Come inside. Many thanks. Thank you, friend. Listen. Ah, but where should I even begin? Hmm. In truth... Fifteen years ago, a man came to me with a request he said was of dire import. <sighs> Strangely, I cannot recall his name. He was a scholar, and from his words one can tell his mind was as sharp as a blade. What I remember more than anything were his eyes, which burned blood red with a zeal for knowledge that bordered on obsession. Blood What's red? Red eye? Could it be? No, perish the thought. After that... They say in recent years he accepted a prestigious headmaster Yuvon. It couldn't be. I knew he was a piece of scum. Yes. But oh, I did not yes. know he would commission a translation of that copy. Wow. In truth, it was me all along, Cyrus. That tome was from the far reaches of hell. I do not have to think twice. Is that so? Knowing full well the dangers posed by the forbidden knowledge within? Yes. Yes, I was not blind to its risk. And yet, what choice did I have? The medicines my daughter required cost a veritable fortune, and I am but a humble scholar. Oh, that's too bad that um, I often wasn't around then. So, you follow Yvonne's instructions to the letter? Yes. Yes, I translated that dreadful tone. All the while fearing for my life what horrors might come to pass if the knowledge fell into the wrong hands. In the end, even the rarest of electrics could not save my poor, poor, poor girl. Looking back, I believe this was divine punishment for my sins. Retribution from on high for the sin you committed. Headmaster Yuvon, whatever was the man thinking? Sorry I mixed in a little spoilers for Xenoblade 2 over there. You say the book is in your possession. I beg of you. Promise me. Leave it to me. I will see that it's never used to never used again to bring pain and suffering. You have my word. The pain and guilt you bear is surely beyond my understanding, but I hope this will bring even a small measure of solace. Rest your rest your heart easy, friend. As best you can. 
You have my thanks. Cyrus, was it? Oh no. Come now. It's them. Well, are you going to keep hiding in the shadows? Or should we end or shall we end this charade? So, you're wise my presence. Just so. I knew I was being followed, yes. Then, you want assistant? You are the headmaster's assistant, miss. Call me Lucia. Lucia. Greeting. Just a little short from Lucina. A pleasure. Why have you followed me here, Lucia? Evil, I evil, evil. Forgive me, Professor Albright. I meant no offense. I overheard that you're investigating the whereabouts of a certain tome. A tome by the name of From the Far Reaches of Hell. Is this correct? Mm -hmm. And what if it is? In truth. What am I about to say? I ask that you keep in the utmost confidence. I have reason to believe Headmaster Yvonne is plotting something unsavory involving the selfsame tome. Why? So oh, the thief who stole the book from the archives was? Yes. The Headmaster himself. Of this I am all but certain. The Headmaster's assistant I may be, but first and foremost I am a scholar in my own right. I will not stand to see my profession's good name soiled by Though by one who would use knowledge in the name of evil. This is why. Indeed. You came here seeking my aid. Correct. Yes, my intuition as an academic tells me you are a man to be trusted. Or completely foolish, because uh, she's probably going to slit your throat. Yes. He's from Stoneguard. The house in which she was born still stands. Yet, there are on ominous rumors about the place. I have a certain its location, but I'm hesitant to investigate further on my own. And so I asked Professor Albright, pray lend me your aid. No, 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 I understand completely. You'll find it on the north side of town. It's a trap. Don't say I didn't warn you. <sighs> this is a trap, isn't it? I mean, ominous Shall music. How Lucia is dressed? It's a trap. I'll give you my answer there. Is this acceptable? Thank you. But of course, thank you, Professor. I will go on and meet you there. What a dagger in your back. This is where Headmaster Yuvon was born and raised. Oh. They got fired at landscapers. <laughs> this place is abandoned. Is that yeah, it so? certainly is. Ominous indeed. Well, shall we let ourselves in? Yeah, go on first, and she'll hit you right there, yep. Yeah. What the? Oh! Uh, where? What is this place? Ah, Professor Albright. I apologize for this little ruse. I'd recognize that voice anywhere. So, we meet again, Headmaster Yvonne. When I heard you were looking into from the far reaches of hell, I knew your search would lead you here. And sure enough, you didn't disappoint me. Your mind is every bit as sharp as I thought it was. 
You sent Lucia to keep an eye on me. What a shame, my dear boy. A thirst for knowledge like yours would be such a terrible thing to waste. So, what do you say? Apprentice yourself to me, and I will overlook your little trespasses. How kind of you. I refuse. I am, shall we say, philosophically opposed to your stance on knowledge. I believe that knowledge should be shared, not hoarded for one's personal gain. I thought you'd say as much. Most unfortunate, Cyrus. Most unfortunate. As you know, this is my house, and I don't get many callers these days. A smart man like you knows what this means, yes? When you starve to death here, no one will be the wiser. If you think I'll give up without a fight, you don't know me nearly well enough. Hmm. What have we here? Climbing my way out doesn't seem to be an option. Now then! Now, how to get myself out of this predicament? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, let's try and investigate further. No, 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 investigate further. <laughs> oh, let's wait and see. Wait and see. We're gonna start to death. No. Oh. Professor? Hmm. Professor Albright? Stress. Stress. And it's Therese. That voice. Could it be? Are you okay? Hold on, Professor. I'll lower a rope. There you go. Climb on up. Ah, uh, yay! <laughs> oh, Professor, I'm so glad you're safe. <laughs> Therese! Did you come all the way from Atlas Dam? But why? Actually... I, I knew you were in danger. And so I came to warn you. Hmm. That's quite enough, young lady. Oh, <laughs> Cutscene power! Therese! Therese! Hmm. I knew Saras would come, but you... You have pluck for a girl your age. You think you can get away with this? Yvonne, let her go at once! <laughs> <laughs> it is clear hostage negotiation never factored into your scholarly pursuits. Mark my words, Cyrus. Stop meddling in my research, or the girl's life is forfeit. <sighs> Wait! Into Yuvon's cellar we go. Hopefully, we won't encounter anything. Although, it should be very easy for us to get through here. Okay, no, not this way. Go this way. Should probably have an easier time getting through here. I'm not gonna worry about the uh, treasure chests. Cause I, oh, I can always get them next time. Right, up through here. All right, nice. There we go. We made it to the other side. Excellent. This should be it. Therese. You just couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? You disappoint me, Cyrus. I took you for a more logical man. Headmaster Yvonne, what do you intend to do with her? 
The girl went poking around in my secrets. I fear she can't be allowed to live. And so I'll finish off teacher and student in one fell swoop. You'll not lay a hand on my pupil. I'll see to that. You seem terribly agitated, Cyrus. It's not good for the humors. It's one of those blood crystals. You will taste the power I summoned from the far reaches of hell! I cannot fail! Boy, he just went full nano machines on us. I am ready. Well, here we go. Bring about Over here. Pretty much uh, standard what do you probably expect. Alright, now. What is Yvonne with in here? Light. No. I smell some Lux Conjugate that I'll be able to use at some point. Oh, wait a minute. How about I incite? Come I'll let Ober take, take the blame here. All right. Yes. Come, dare. This calls for I'll be able to take out these two mooks over here. They're not going to cause any Take it like a champ, Ober. Good job. Alright, let's use a Tiger Rage, shall we? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, let's see here. I need to buff. Uh, oh gosh, I just realized I uh, did not put. Oh no, wait. He's gonna be at the back of the queue. So, um, the lion. what are you doing here, Alvin? <laughs> Why did I make you a hunter? Here we go. Oh, well, very well. Um, <laughs> gonna use a scholar skills first. Let's see if there's anything for you guys. No. Nothing. Intimidate. Oh. Don't worry, over. You're fine. You're good. Alright, research fellow. Lightning. I am ready. Oh. No, let's see here. No, I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna heal, however. Bring about a miracle of healing. Now let's. Uh. Ah, uh, it'll be fine. Let's see, uh, let's take out one of these scopes here. Gosh, even without, even without using a lot of attacks, even without boosting, he's still doing a lot of damage. Let's, uh, go. That one research fella is about to die. That's great. I'm ready. Alright. I'm not gonna boost yet. Because I want to buff Cyrus so that way he'll be able to do some incredible things. The peacock strike. He'll be good for now, Cyrus. All right. And Sam, you do this. Blast then is still pretty damn good. Guys are about to die. I'm gonna avoid using the small to um, torture our classes as much as I can. How about you? How about you? Come, Come if you dare. Yes, attack him. Yes. 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 Just what I wanted. Yes. Bring about a Let's heal some time. more. We're not ready to use. We're not ready to use that, unfortunately. I mean, I probably could, but I don't want to waste it. 
victory shall be mine. Yeah, let's see here. Let's use a Up staff attack. Yeah. Here goes nothing. Right now. Oh. Let's get down to work. Take your poison. Poison. Take your poison. Is truly joined. Now. Do this again. There we are. I'm ready. Let's gonna waste this um thing eater. That's good. Now what to do next here. Oh, hold on here. No no no, we can't do that just yet. That's unfortunate. Um I'll just buff uh The Lion Elfin. And then I'll buff Olberk. I get Elfin's Enlightenment. At this point, most at this point. You probably have um, the base uh, base jobs um, divine skills at this point. I mean, at least I think you should probably should. If you don't, um, well, I don't know what to say. You're not getting away. No, you're not getting away. You're not getting away. All right, now the plan can work. I seriously doubt he's gonna last. I, I doubt it. Very much. No, no, hold on here. No, hold on here. Hold on here. Let's find us. Yes. All that farm for pomegranate is gonna go just fine. Victory shall be mine. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's. No. Let's use this. I wreak havoc upon thee! Oh, that damage. He's not gonna last. Great. Bye bye. 999, and then another 999. He's. Yeah. You should have Well, at least we got uh, St. Therese. Not bad, not bad. And this chapter three is officially done. Preposterous! I am an all powerful! I am immortal! What in the. Immortal? Lies! They were all lies! Lies. Who lied to you? It cannot end like this. It was not. Sorry, Yvonne. Those are nano machines. Nano machines are the true way to be immortal. What you brought into was a ripoff. Well, at least she didn't get her blood sucked out. That's a good thing. Cause I'm pretty sure a certain lobster will be very mad. You have my gratitude. You have my gratitude, Therese. You saved my life. Thank goodness, oh, Professor. I'm so glad you're. <sighs> what have I done? In a teacher endangering the life of his pupil. But I cannot reflect upon my feelings another time. For now. I must get you to safety. Awake, are you? Yes, Professor. Therese. I must know what you saw and heard. You'll tell me, yes? Yes, Professor. One day I heard the Headmaster talking to someone in his office. I couldn't make out the other voice, but they were talking about you. They were saying they would see you dead. And so I, I. You came all the way here to warn me. Yes, Professor. I see. Well, Joyce, as your teacher, I must scold you for your most reckless and careless actions. I understand, Professor. But one thing is also clear. 
Were it not for your actions, I would have died in that dark pit. And so, as a man, I owe you a debt of gratitude. Thank you, Therese, from the bottom of my heart. But you must promise me one thing. What is it, Professor? In the future, pray consult someone you can trust before embarking on such a dangerous course of action. <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor, but I did learn from the best. I suppose you did, didn't you? Professor, I... I must continue my journey, but I will send letters. Yes, I'll include assignments to keep your mind sharp. Um... Hmm? <laughs> I look forward to that, Professor. But I think we've talked enough for the day. You should rest. Wait, Professor! The Headmaster. He said one more thing. Hmm? What's this now? He said that once you were out of the way, there was a place he would go. Intriguing. And where might that be, pray tell? Uh... I appreciate your concern, but I will go there. I must. In a way, we are not so different, the Headmaster and I. Professor? That unquenchable thirst for knowledge, bordering almost on obsession. And yet, our philosophies regarding the ultimate purpose of knowledge could not be more different. The Headmaster used his position and prestige to hoard knowledge for his own foul ends. As an academic, I cannot forgive this. Knowledge is for one and all. <laughs> we inherit the knowledge of our ancestors and pass it on to those who follow us. Only then is its true value realized. Headmaster Yvonne believed true knowledge should begin and end with him. He was wrong. Always remember this, Therese. Knowledge is a bounty to be shared by all. A bounty? The more of us that possess true knowledge, the richer we all become. Those who seek knowledge must never forget this. That is what I believe. And those who would use their knowledge for nefarious ends must be stopped. So, it would be wrong of me to keep this to myself. The Headmaster said he was headed to the town of Dust Barrel. I see. Thank you, Therese. Do not worry. Your teacher will not make the same mistake twice. When I act, I will exercise due caution. I can believe you this time. Please do, my dear girl. If you say so, then I shall see you when you return. You have my word. I will arrange for someone to look after you until your strength returns. Dusk Barrow. Whatever did the Headmaster seek there? Judging from his transformation to that dreadful beast, the power he obtained was an unholy one indeed. Is it possible that the tomb holds not only the secrets to death, but new forms of life? And yet, 
I find it hard to believe that transforming himself into a demon was the headmaster's ultimate goal. After all, did he not say he was betrayed? And the original copy of the tome is still nowhere to be found. So Cyrus left Stonegar behind, having witnessed with his own eyes the nightmarish powers contained within the pages of that baleful tome. What do Yuvon and his cohorts truly seek? Whether, whether he was ready to face them or not, Cyrus would find his answers in the spot. And that is the end of Cyrus' chapter 2. Thank you for watching and uh, come back next time. Next time, um, well, since Ophelia's in a party, we're probably gonna head on to Gold Shore and knock her one, knock hers one off. And then it's on to the last three up here. What awaits us in Gold Shore when we go for Ophelia's one? I wonder. But until then, thank you for watching, and as always, stay fresh, and have a good day.